Assalamualaikum Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Now let's look at the summary of the difference between your normal loss and abnormal loss. So uh, be, uh, about the expectation, so a normal loss is the expected losses in the processing operation. So you expect that loss to occur. Whereas for your abnormal loss, this loss is unexpected. You don't expect these losses to occur in your uh, normal processing operation. Uh, what about the occurrence? So your normal loss occurs due to the inherent nature of the materials and the production process under the normal operating conditions. Whereas for your abnormal loss, this occurs due to abnormal conditions such as uh, mishap, mischief and inefficiencies due to these problems you're going to have your abnormal loss. Uh, because these losses is uh, expected for your normal loss, it is expected. Therefore, in terms of controllability, it is uncontrollable. Whereas for your abnormal loss, this loss is controllable. Okay, what about the prevention or avoidability? A uh, normal loss, it cannot be prevented or unavoidable because of the inherent nature of the uh, materials or the production process. Whereas for your abnormal loss, this one is uh, losses that can be prevented from occurring again. So it is avoidable. The costs, as we mentioned earlier, this arises due to reasons such as evaporation, normal leakage, the spoilage, loss of weight, drying, etc. Whereas for your abnormal loss, it arises due to reasons such as uh, fire, riot, flood, theft, uh, plant breakdown, substandard materials being used, carelessness of the workers or the employees, inefficient uh, operations, uh, accidents, etc. Okay, uh, what about the treatment in accounts? So for your normal loss, the cost of normal loss is, is borne by the good units. So you, if you are looking at the cost, the cost of the normal loss will be borne by the good units. Later on, in my next video, I will explain about the uh, how the cost of normal loss will be borne by the good units. And then for the abnormal loss, Abnormal loss, the cost of abnormal loss is not borne by the remaining good units. What uh, it will be charged to the profit or loss uh, uh, profit or loss account or the SOPL and not being treated as part of the cost. Okay. Um, uh, whereas for your normal loss, it is treated as part of the Cost. So, this is just a summary of the difference between your normal loss and the abnormal loss. Hopefully, you have a better understanding of what is uh, normal loss, what is abnormal loss, in what way uh, you will have a uh, you it, it can occur, and what's the difference between your normal loss and abnormal loss. Also, you need to be able to, uh, you need to understand what, uh, in what scenario you will have your abnormal gain. So, with that, I thank you.